Hello everyone. Myself Samir from Cyber Sapiens. I am from the batch R20 and I am going to perform a presentation on the topic of broken link hijacking. So let's begin. So firstly, we'll see the context of our presentation that will start from introduction then we'll head to exploitation and the impact and uh, then we'll see the mitigation and in last we have the references and we will also uh, watch how it will be performed on the live target so let us begin with the introduction so what is broken link hijacking firstly we need to understand what is a broken link a broken link is a hyperlink in a website that is linked to an empty or non existent external web page when a broken link is clicked an error message is displayed now we'll see what is hijacking hijacking is a type of network security attack in which the attacker takes control of software programs or network communications here concluding both of these we can see that here broken link hijacking refers to the concept of taking over an account that redirects from the hyperlink that is clicked on the main web page which has been either deleted or not found so let's head to the exploitation part now we can see an example here let's consider a company named rodeo so the company has its own website and uh, below the website the in the footer part we can see that uh, this company has some social media links so like facebook twitter instagram etc and the link to the company social handles are uh, for facebook like we can see that it is www.facebook.com/rodeo and as well as for instagram it is www.instagram.com/rodeo now uh, assume that the company deleted the instagram account for some reason but the company forgot to remove the link from the company website that was located on the main page so this will create a broken link of instagram or facebook or anything that the account has been deleted on the website now what the attacker does is he finds this broken link creates an account in the same name as of the company name and he will make that account so when any victim or when any other user clicks on that link that is already broken so the the thing that happens is when it is clicked the user has been redirected to the account of the attacker that he made with a using the company name so this will allow impersonation scenario and now we'll see the impact the impact in this is impersonation and defamation as you know impersonation like the attacker can do anything or uh, post any malicious content to spoil the name of the so website of the xyz website that he has uh, made an account of and the other risk also include that uh, the user can could be taken to a phishing website that is designed to steal the personal credentials like login login attack and uh, credit card numbers your bank details or other attacks also include that the user may be prompted to download a file that contains a malware that can affect the computer or any of the electronic devices that you are using and uh, attackers can also gain control over it <clears throat> now the mitigations of this includes the prevention phase so to prevent broken link hijacking the best and most useful method is to keep on checking the links that are, the links and the accounts that are available on the social media handles and uh, if the link is expired or broken the best way to prevent is it is to either remove the page or either remove the link or uh, either make an account or change the username of the account and uh, also this can be prevented by using many automated tools that are available right now like uh, the github broken link that is a repository that can be downloaded and uh, here we can see a website also a dead link checker uh, in this website uh, you can as see in the interface you have a search bar there you can uh, paste the website link and you can click on the check button this uh, website will keep on checking all the links and uh, give us the results that if there are some broken links so we can make use of this tool 
online tool and uh, check if any website has broken links and uh, if it has it has any broken links or the website belongs to us or any person we know we can inform them to either remove the link or either create the account and change the username so here are some references and the information that i took uh, to make this presentation and the target website we are using right now is called sin so let us step now now to the practical sessions so now as we can see we'll search for the website this is an actually airways website and it is the official website of uh, courts and airways as you can see right here and uh, we have many options like for flight booking tourism travel cards cargo services etc now as we scroll down to the bottom we can see all the packages and all the different services this website provides you can also it is also a member login page so as we scroll down we can see this website has uh, some social media handles like facebook linkedin twitter instagram etc so let us check with the facebook first so as we can see the facebook page uh, there is a page called courts and airways and this page is uh, working fine but uh, let us see now with linkedin okay so as you can see the page does not exist so there is no, not an account on the linkedin like uh, from the name of courts and airways so here we identified a broken link of linkedin similarly we can see for twitter also see as you can see there is no account from the username courts and travels as well as we can check for instagram also see sorry this page isn't available because there is no account in the name of courts and travels so now let us see what the attacker can do so now i have my twitter account like in the name of test poc so this is my profile and this is my cover photo so what i'll do is i'll go head to more settings account information i'll go to my username and i'll try to change my username to courts and travels and i'll hit on save so as i can see my username has been changed to courts and travels so now let us head to the official website and let us click on this link so let's see first we was getting a, we were getting an error now let's see what account is been opening so as you can see after clicking on the official link of the website on the twitter account we are redirected to our account that we created just now that we changed the name to courts and travels so as you can see the attack and attacker can do the same thing and uh, change his account username and post any malicious content or anything uh, related to defamation of the original website similarly we can also see that we have here an instagram account in the name of test poc so we can do the same thing here also we can change the username to courts and travels and we'll hit submit and the profile changes are saved we got the username of courts and travels first we were getting this error the page was not been found now as we click on the instagram official handle of this page we can see that this account is being opening that is our account as we have changed the username so this is an example of the broken link hijacking and uh, any attacker or uh, any anybody can uh, perform this attack as uh, he finds this broken link in any website any official website and uh, post any malicious content or uh, attack the victims or users 
by posting uh, defamation attacks and uh, anything like that and which is harmful for the owner of the website or for the reputation of the particular company so that's it for today today's pre presentation and uh, this is the end of the presentation thank you